far back as I can remember, I was always going to join. I just didn't know what I was going to do. My dad was in for 37 years. My mom was in. Um, my sister is currently in. So uh, my grandpa was in. So it was a um, family, you know, family thing to be in the military. So um, I joined in 2007. Uh, so my most memorable mission uh, is the cave rescue in Thailand uh, in 2018. You know, I was there for three weeks and we were doing all kinds of different mission sets while we were there, working with a bunch of different countries. The cave rescue came to be, we were in Okinawa, Japan. We were actually getting ready to go diving. Um, we get a call that there were some kids in Thailand that were trapped in a cave and the first few days we were with the Thai Special Forces teams and our job was to search around the top of the mountain and find any other routes into it uh, because as far as we knew at the time it was one way in one way out and it was completely flooded so then our job changed to where we had to go find helicopter landing zones in the jungle and create these landing zones but things changed so they asked for volunteers um, i volunteered and three other uh, pjs volunteered to be the first guys to go in and our job was to get 300 air tanks into the cave. At this point, there was a couple weeks of people bringing gear, hoses, wires, all these things through this cave. Um, so it was very easy to get, to get tangled up and get stuck. Um, we had already known it was really dangerous, but that really highlighted how dangerous these little areas where we were diving were. We were lucky enough to get some world-renowned cave divers who were also anesthesiologists from Australia. Uh, with them, we were able to develop a plan that we would medically sedate them and be able to dive them out without them knowing what's going on. So that one, they won't freak out and then also they won't be traumatized by the event. My role for the actual rescue was to be in chamber three. I was the lead medic there and as the divers would uh, be coming from chamber eight where the kids were, they would pop up into chamber three. I would do a medical assessment on the children to make sure everyone was good to go and that they could survive the rest of the journey. And so we did that exact same thing 13 times over three days and, uh, and they all survived. It feels awesome to be a part of that. It's great to showcase to other people our capabilities. Um, so it was good to kind of, you know, highlight that and show people that we can we can assist in other things besides war. And the biggest thing I can say is, just like my career, all these things happen that I never expected. Um, so you got to be flexible. You can't just want one certain mission set or one thing to happen in your career because you have no idea what's going to happen. Um, there's always going to be something out there. It may not be what you expected, but um, we have impacts all over the world. Um, so I try to make sure guys understand that. Yeah, to be a part of the, the ST community, and pararescue community as a whole. It's, it's awesome and humbling at the same time. You know, I've had a great career, but mine is nothing compared to some of the other people. I don't know if I could do a different, a different job in the military. I'm sure I could, but I wouldn't want to be a part of any other community. Um, because of the people I'm around, they're highly selected, they're motivated, and they're willing to lay down their life for people they don't know. So you know that they're gonna do anything they can for you and you're gonna do the same for them. I think very few people ever experience that in their life.